Hi, my name is Keith and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own text-to-speech software that you can use to convert text into audio files and add them to your videos. So a, uh, a few months ago, I made a playlist on how to create YouTube videos without showing your face, without using your voice. And I showed you using the platform called Vidnami. Vidnami is a website that can help you generate videos by just pasting your content and then generates videos for you but unfortunately that website is not free it costed about 35 dollars per month so as for me i didn't manage to continue paying the 35 dollars every month because it costed me more to make videos than i was uh, making money out of it so that's the reason why i decided to create my own text to speech software that can change or convert my text into audio files and add them to videos so if you've been watching my videos you my you will find that almost all my videos they're not using my voice and there's no my face in there but i've been using uh, i've not been paying people to do voiceovers for me i've just been using my text to speech software because I'm a web designer, I'm a programmer and so on. So this tutorial is going to be a bit long, so I encourage you to watch this video till the end. If you don't know the reasons why I, I why most of my videos have no my face or there is no my voice, you should watch this video which is over here. Yeah, so this is the video I made about eight months ago about who is Keith Rins. Okay, why I don't show my face in videos, why don't I use my voice in videos so the reasons i explained in this video so you might want to watch it after watching this video so as i said earlier on the video is going to be long so i encourage you to watch this video to the end so here are the requirements okay so the requirements for this to work one you need a computer a laptop a desktop anything okay second you need to have some coding skills but in this video, I already made this software, so all you are going to do is install it and uh, run it. So after showing all these things, I am going to okay. I'm going to show you how you can generate uh, how you convert text into audio files. From there, I'm going to show you how you can apply this same text to your videos and then export and then upload to YouTube or upload wherever you are sending the videos to. So the voice, the text-to-speech software I made is much better than most text-to-speech websites which are there. So a lot of text-to-speech websites which are there, like you can really tell that this voice is very robotic, like they don't sound human at all, but the text-to-speech software I made, all the voices sound natural, they sound human, and it's enjoyable to listen to them. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a terminal called Hyper. Okay. So if you want you can use CMD, but for now we're going to use a terminal called Hyper. So you should be able to know how to install these things. I am not going to go through the installation next, click next, click next. No, I'm just going to tell you what to do. So simply download Hyper for Windows. When you're done downloading it, install it. When you're done with Hyper, go to Git. So I will include all the links in the description of the video. So we are going to just click and download. So download Git for Windows. When you're done with downloading Git, go on and download Node.js. Download it and install it as well. When you're done with this, come over here. Okay, so I'll also include this link in the description. So now this is the text-to-speech software. It's powered by IBM text-to-speech API. Okay, so all you have to do is click your written code and click on download zip. So when you download zip, make sure that you've got a zip file open a software installed on your PC. So after downloading this zip, extract it to anywhere either on the desktop in the documents folder anywhere you want okay so let's just go on and download and see what happens so once you install these things the other thing you need to do now is okay it's done downloading so let's open it Then 
then I am going to extract it to desktop In the desktop I'll create another folder called text to speech okay I'm done extracting it so I'm going to open these files and I'm going to click on desktop and I'll come on text to speech then I'm going to rename this folder I'm going to write text to speech okay then I'll open it so once you've done this step is now to create an account with IBM so uh, this text to speech software is using IBM uh, API for it to work so the thing you have to do now is I'll include this link in the description also so don't worry about them so simply click on this so currently uh, you can use the free plan of the text to speech by IBM which has got 10,000 characters per month so with this free plan you'll be able to generate a lot of videos but not that much okay so again that's go to the paid version of buy will be charged 0.02 dollars per thousand characters this is very cheap as compared to other platforms so you have to create, click on this button say sign up to create so as for me i already have an account with ibm so i'm not going to create another account so all i'm going to do is login so I simply click on login because I already have an account with it. So what are we actually trying to do? So we're simply creating an account, creating a text to speech, uh, enabling it. After that, I'm going to get the API keys, the one I'm going to connect. So let me just wait for it. It loads up. Okay. So as you can see, it's saying I can only have one right service per account because it's the free plan. So I'm not going to click on create because I already have a free plan but otherwise since you is the first time creating it all you have to do is simply click on create and to be created. So since me I already have a uh, text to speech enabled so all I'm going to do is just get the API keys. So to do that I'm going to click on uh, Okay, so this is my existing text to speech of which I created. So this is the API key here and this is the URL. Okay, so at first I told you that you should install Hyper a terminal. So once you install Hyper, so okay, so this text to speech done I've just downloaded is on desktop in the folder called text to speech again in a footer code t to s so all you have to do is go where you have watched this okay so go where you have downloaded the text to speech and simply click on right click and click on open hyper here okay we are now in in the text to speech we have downloaded so simply do this ls and it will list all the files which are there so according to the instructions which are found over here uh, not here it's saying that we must be we must create a file called .env so to do that simply uh, do this touch dot env okay so we have created a file called dot env so let's open the folder and refresh okay so here it is so i'm going to edit this file with notepad plus plus you can use any editor to edit it okay so I'm simply going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here then I'm going to go to to the credentials over here so I'll copy the 
API key and I'll paste the API key here okay so I'll delete the existing one and paste the API key then after that you have to copy the URL and also uh, delete the existing one and and paste it okay so the reason why I'm not pasting the API key because I do not want any of you to get access to it and use up all my credits. So after that, click on save. Okay. So when you click on save, the next thing you're going to have to do is, is go to hyper again and run npm install okay so when you do this after writing npm install click enter it's going to install the all the dependencies required to run this uh node js software so as for me i already did this so i'm going to i'm going to cancel it and i'm going to run it directly okay so once that process is done all you have to do now is click on no enter the command npm uh, start okay so this is going to open up in a new tab if it doesn't open up in a new tab simply write localhost so the, uh, localhost that's my two dots then three port three thousand so I'm going to wait for this it does its job Okay, it's done. We are told the server is running on port 3000. So all I'm, what I'm going to do now is open a new tab and write localhost. Okay, it's already there. And click enter. So I'm going to wait for it. It loads up. Okay, so this is the text to speech. So all you have to do is, is first choose a voice, either male or female, either US or UK or any other languages which are here. So for now, we're going to start with the original one. So I'm going to write, hi, my name is Keith and welcome to my YouTube channel like this video and subscribe okay then i'm going to click on speak hi my name is keith and welcome to my youtube channel like this video and subscribe okay i hope you are hearing that and just do this Hi, my name is Keith and welcome to my YouTube channel. Like this video and subscribe. Okay, so now let us try changing the, the male voice. So let's choose Henry and, and click on speak. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the Union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. It places the individual at the heart of its activities, by establishing the citizenship of the Union, and by creating an area of freedom, security and justice. So as you can see, almost all the voices in here sound so natural and sound like human. Let's try another one. Okay, let's choose British English by James and I'm going to click on speak. So feel free to play around with these voices and choose one. Spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. 
It places the individual at the heart of its activities by establishing the citizenship of the Union and by creating an area of freedom, security and justice. Okay, so that is the British by James. So let's try another language. Let's choose French, although I don't know French. Let's see how it will sound like. Consciente de son patrimoine spirituel et moral, l'Union se fonde sur les valeurs indivisibles et universelles de l'unité humaine, de liberté, d'égalité et de solidarité. Il repose sur le principe de la démocratie. Ok, so I think this is it. So now, when you are happy with the voice you want, ok? Yeah, so when you're happy with the voice you want, simply enter any, any text then download. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So simply click on download. So as you can see, the file name is going to be synthesized. And the way it is, you cannot play it. So I'm going to go to downloads. And this is the file we've just downloaded having the voice. So for you to be able to use this voice in your videos, you have to rename it. So I'm going to give it any name I feel like. Then the most important part is changing the file type. So simply write dot mp3. Yeah. So simply write dot mp3 and to be changed into an audio file. So I'll double click on it and try to play it. Okay, as you can see, it's a playable file. So now since that you've downloaded this file, you can now add it to your videos. So as for me, I use a video editor called Filmora X. So I'm simply going to open new project. And I'm going to paste in this one and here. Okay, then simply drag it to the timeline there. Then I'm going to add a video. Simply go to a website called Pixels. Okay, maybe take this. Okay, so on Pixels you can download videos for free. These videos here are free and you do not have to credit them. So simply search for any type of video, let me say French and I'll click enter and I'll click on videos then I have to choose a video which I like so to download simply click here and choose the uh, which one you would like so I'll simply go with the HD version and click on download So just have to wait for it, it finishes downloading, okay it's done, so I'll open up my editor, open the files, go to downloads and copy the video and paste it in here and bring it over here. Okay, then I'll click on play. Okay, it sounds good. So when you're done with that, simply click on export. You can as well do this like the editing with your phone. Then going to type in French vid. Yeah, and simply click on export. So when the export process is done, you can now upload to YouTube or to whatever platform you would like to upload to. So I'm simply going to cancel this process because I do not need this video at all and I'm going to close this. Okay, so this is how you create a text to speech. So when you're done with all of this, you have to close this local host. So to do that, simply click control plus C to cancel. Then we have closed the local host so if, if i try to refresh here nothing is going to work as you can see the site cannot be reached so i'm going to close hyper 
so we are done so all the links are going to be in the description if you learned something from this video give it a like if you'd like me to go on and explain more or make another video uh, feel free to comment if you have any other questions feel free to comment as well i read and reply to all comments within an hour so don't forget to like this video and subscribe bye for now